Alrighty, so we're gonna install this hard disk on this Lenovo Idea Center gaming low-end gaming desktop. So all you're gonna need is this screwdriver that changes the point. So we're just gonna use this one and unscrew these two screws. One is in the top. one at the bottom get them off get these small screws here put them on the side and this one should slide off yep very easy you can see this is a mini desktop everything is crammed up inside and <clears throat> i was trying to find out a video how to do this but i couldn't find a specific one so i'm making my own so what you need to do is remove the front first, which is just clipped on. It's plastic, so just watch it so that you don't ruin anything. It's pretty easy though. And then what you need to do is pull on this, pull from these hinges to scroll and open like this. Okay, easy peasy so far. We've got a winner. So I think the hard disk, should, hard disk should go like this and the SATA cable and the power cable go right. Ah, okay, that's, that's the proper way. So it should look a little bit like this. Here are the ports right here. I'm gonna put this back in once I make sure that I have the proper cables unattached. This is just a clip that can be just used like this. But this one is the cable and this is the clip inside. You can just twist it and then the cables come off. What is this guy here? It will give us the power. And this guy here will give us the data. So this cable is the data and this cable is power. So we're just gonna put them like this. And basically the hard disk will be like this and the data cable done and the power cable also done easy peasy right so if you can see this little baby opens this contraption so you can just pull it afterwards and do this and then when you put it in and with a motion inside inwards motion it will just lock so it's pretty automatic let's say no need to do anything now we need to seal this is the only cable attached to the front i didn't remove it even so and try to lock this right side so the front is in place again and all you need to do is close it again so that the airflow is correct lock it up use the screws close the box and basically that's it for this video thank you for watching actually no this was not the end of the video because the video has a secret ending as once I tried to access the disk, the disk was simply not there. So if you see, if you click on your device manager settings and you can see the disk, it indeed appeared there, but it's nowhere to be found to the left of the file manager. So you cannot access the drive and add files or do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, so what to do? So just go on disk management this time, right disk management and just click on it and then this little guy should appear and here 
uh, already found something new so uh, for this one just click uh, yes and move on from this pop-up window and then here you can just click uh, right click and choose new simple volume and this will start the process welcome to the new simple volume wizard next and then this will create the partition that we we're talking about just a small eight megabyte partition and the rest is for you to use then assign the following drive letter you can change the drive letter f is fine for me and mounting the following empty i uh, no do not assign a drive letter. no don't click on this so just click next this will format the volume it will be ntfs it will be a new volume perform a quick format that's fine next and then you see the overview and click finish and already it is done and as you can see to the left the new volume f volume has been created and now the drive is for you to use so no more secret endings this is it for this video this is the final ending of the video don't wait any longer thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video and you found it informative if it helped you please like this video click like uh, subscribe to the channel for more exciting videos to come.